today from Portland, Oregon, on the banks of the beautiful Willamette River. Hi, and welcome everyone here on 2K Sports. Can't wait to get some NBA action going. This is Kevin Harlow with Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and from the sideline, as always, our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. Also stopping by our program, one of the great point guards in NBA history. Kenny the Jet Smith. I love the nickname the Jet Smith. Man, appreciate the shout out. And you know you're the guy. Well, I brought it back a lot. Well, it really back. happened in high school. Right? It happened in high school, but no one called me in high school, college, and so the NBA. He shouted it out. And now it's stuck like fire. Now, no, I can't go anywhere. And they're like, Jet, Jet. And I'm like, Kevin Hall has started. But you love that guy. You love him. Oh, buddy, the name is evolved. Now it's probably Jet. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually popular. <laughs> 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 Here's what Portland has lined up on their schedule. On Thursday, they'll take on Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And then on Saturday, they'll be facing Hassan Whiteside and the Sacramento Kings. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldrich, who's on the sideline. David? Kevin, thanks very much. C.J. McCollum has talked about the bond between the city of Portland and the Blazers team. He said the connection comes in part because we're isolated in the Pacific Northwest, far from the rest of the world. Basketball is the only major sport, so the city's poured its heart and soul into this team. Well, Laser fandom has certainly been part of Rip City's DNA for a very long time. Kevin? Portland is indeed one of the great cities in the NBA. David, thank you. Kenny, your teammate, Akeem Olajuwon, a lead on both ends. Who do you think is the best all-around big man in the game right now? Well, as, as, as great as Akeem was, you know, Shaq was probably just the greatest ball handler as guys today. You know, you think about that, like Giannis and Embiid, those two come to mind. They probably would have gave it to Shaq, but he would have had his shit. <laughs> Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. White and Levine team up in the backcourt. Markin and Carter are up front, and it's Porter in at the three. And for the Trailblazers, the high-powered backcourt pair, Lillard and McCollum. Nurkic is out there with Robert Covington, and it's Anthony in at the small forward. Now here is Carter. It's Porter outside, nailed from three-point land. Beautiful find by Carter. Sees the floor really well for a young man. Probably still be there if Anthony Davis is 
uh, help me. Uh, New Orleans Pelicans will be around. Zion. Five years ago, Milwaukee Bucks will still be there. Stolen by McCullough. Another shot. Sit back by Carter. That time, Carter's length and vertical pandemonies. He has tremendous potential as a rim protector. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Collins has checked in, and the Bulls making a change also. Williams, he's checked in for Wendell Carter. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. And, and early in the game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. The Bulls trail by eight. And the first time out of the game we call for Chicago. You have to like what we've seen so far from Damian Lillard. Yeah, they're going to have to find a way to run him off his spots out there. He is rolling. did not waste opportunities to convert at the line. And you only average top three in points if you have a particular mindset that, that you are the guy. And stolen by Lillard. Four on three as they bring it up. Here's Anthony. And he can extend the lead to double digits. For Chicago, they've gone four of seven for the field, shooting over 50%. Well, we see uh, rookies like LaMelo Ball and R.J. Hampton uh, who chose to play in the Australian League rather than college basketball. Kenny, is something you would have ever considered uh, had you been in the show? Well, you know, I don't think I would have ever been in the show, guys, uh, because my thought process would have been totally different. But I do understand um, how some players will opt for that option, but also it's taking a huge gamble. And... Uh, it's going to probably work out for these two talented young players. And the reality is most of the guys that have done that, it didn't benefit them. Because what people don't feel back then is if you're a young kid, you're going to live in a foreign country, different culture. You're going to be around people you don't know. And generally, you don't get to play the game you played in high school because you're not the focal point. So it is a tremendous risk. And most people don't get to see you play until you get to play. And here's White after Damian Lillard was able to get the three to go. Williams with a clean look, and they come right back with their own three-pointer. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. So timeout called here, the first for Portland. The NBA being so much about entertainment, Kenny. If you had to choose the best showman in the league, who would you pick? Ooh, the best showman. For style and charisma. Steph Curry. Yeah, he'd be, he'd be right up there with LeBron is the showman, but Steph is, I think, the top of the league. Giannis is a showman, uh, but he's by grit, hard, and maybe some days I, I I would go with that as well. I think the one thing that, the, the one reason that I have a little concern with Steph is we have his, those other, like, LeBron doesn't have to have a great team. You know, he can make a team great. That's the one difference with him. I think hey, Giannis I don't can know. do that. He made that team great before Kevin Durant got there. No, 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 no. Well, he's playing with a few other all things. My point is, if you put him out there with guys who weren't all-star caliber players, that's my concern. And we've seen, I'm with you, Giannis has done that, LeBron has done that. Steph's a showman in his current and Luka. existence. And Luka would have a all-time show. left here in the opening quarter. And Sadaransky wide open. He fires. And that is still early, but I'd like to see him crash the offensive glass. And here's Collins from outside. That shot, no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Portland. A matchup that only happens twice a year. These interconference battles can be a lot of fun. The balance between East and West, after years of being dominated by the West, is starting to even out some. And the shot goes in. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more sense of urgency. Down low. 
Here's Young, and it's Young finishing it off. With good size, vision, and ability to pass the ball, Sadarasi can make some sweet dishes. But three hits it from three-point range. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. Here's Temple, still looking for his first bucket in this one. The shot by Sadarasi, no good. Last break, here come the Trailblazers. Trey gets the bucket. Yeah. We're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for Portland. An historic feat during the quarter, launching and making a phenomenal number of three-pointers like never seen before. Only in the NBA. We'll get right back to the action when we return.
Let's go down to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, good to hear from you. Now, Zach Levine has become a star, but he knows there's still work to be done. He said, I'm stepping into a leadership role, asking more of myself and giving more each year. You've got to look at your faults. I have to continue to improve my defense. I want to help us make the playoffs. My next step as a player is winning. Right, guys, back to you. Great attitude. David, thank you. Trailblazers leading by 16. Now, here's Nurkic. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Valentine passes to Levine. Valentine gets to Carter. Over Jones. And it's Carter again missing. More point than they've gone. 4 10 in the second quarter from the field. You ask around more and more team trainers focused on the importance of sleep for peak performance. Is that something that you ever paid attention to, Kenny, when you were playing? Yes. I've never played an NBA game. Very, very few without taking a nap. Day of game. But how about like a night's sleep? Would you say, I got to get seven hours? I got to get eight I, I, hours. I would say I, I, my thing was I, I would set my timer for, for 12.30 a.m. to make sure that I'm in bed by 12.30. So that would be my law clock. Not to wake up, but to go to bed by the right? Yeah. I, I, I actually, I, my nap was more important than my night of sleep. Because also back then, we traveled right after games. A lot of times, you didn't get to the next city at 2, 3 in the morning, and you're still wired up. So, yep. like, that nap, man, was vital. Vital. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. One guy who's getting it done is Lillard. Good decision to regather. Talk it over. Your main concern now is how to slow this guy down on the offensive end. Here's what Portland's going with right now. Zach Collins checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Robert Covington comes in for Carmelo Anthony. And Hood subbed in for Jones. Chicago also making some changes. Williams is checked in for Carter. And Porter subbed in for Denzel Valentine. Trailblazers leading by 16. Three-pointer, Miller drills the three-pointer. Lillard's got nine points now in the quarter. A polished and versatile score. Lillard's shoot-first attitude on display today. Arkenden dishes to White. To the inside. Here's Williams. Nice pass. Right under the rack, perfectly for the layup. Nine points for Williams. And what about our special guest? Kenny, thanks for taking the time to join us, dropping by. Always a pleasure. You add so much to the broadcast. Man, thanks for having me. This is just great. Thank you. And what an experience it was, Greg, to have Kenny joining us. You always know he's going to give you his honest opinion, which makes him so great. Jeff, and, and throughout his playing days and now as a broadcaster, Kenny's never pulled any punches here. Good! Out of the three. And what a fireworks display he's shown us tonight. Just keeps knocking him down from deep. Greg, he has just exploded. Oh, wow. The creativity, extreme athleticism. You see why Zach's won the dunk contest multiple times. Lillard misses. The Bulls trailed by 19. And it's White missing. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. Collins pass it to Lillard. Fires the three. Rebound collected by Levine. Downing for Chicago. They won that game against the Mavericks. It's good. White's got seven. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Lillard from outside. And again for three. And of course it falls for him. That three pushes him into the history book. Rally well, is not time for the most threes in a game. This is a night we will never forget. The offensive rebound. Williams can't cash in from close range. And so it's the Portland Trailblazers closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Carmelo, you got some real numbers off the bench in the first half. How important is that contribution to the team? Well, I mean, we always believe that we have one of the better bench in the NBA when they come to play like they like we playing so far. You know, it, it makes it a tough game, it makes it a tough team to beat. So just hope 
and you keep that up. I'm sure it puts confidence in you and in the coach going into the second half. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And what a show being put on here for the home fans tonight. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And rejoining us here at the table, hey, he's back, Kenny the Jet Smith. Kudos to you, sir, for your sharp and incisive analysis. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Always a pleasure to break down the game with the great ones. The trainer. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harlan. second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Really an incredible game from Lillard. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge, to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Trailblazers leading by 20. So for Chicago right now, a beat of the two with Porter connects again from distance. And that is a three that will put him in the record book. A historic performance by a historically good shooter. One of the best games anybody has ever had. To the middle, Levine, and Levine throws it down. This is what they like about marketing. He will make the next pass when the defense overplays him. points a game last season. Three rebounds and two assists. Nothing about his numbers really jump out at you, but he'll come up with a timely play or two every game. He understands his role. He accepts it. He's one of those guys who doesn't need the ball to be effective. Third quarter, just over a minute play. Carter kicks to Porter. Back to Carter. Takes the three. Only one for four in this half. Sometimes it's execution. Sometimes the shots just don't go down. And here's McCullum for three. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they maintain their focus. Here's White. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. Levine's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. The Trailblazers have gone four for four from the field since the halftime break. Terrific start to the third quarter. And Miller gets it to go. And this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowed. Well, you look at the career that Dame Lillard has had so far. Taking sixth in the 2012 draft out of Weaver State, a small 
school, but this guy became a franchise player immediately for the Blazers. McComb outside. Three-pointer. Good on the three-point shot. McComb's got six here in this quarter. The defense a step slow. You can see the results. And thinking of Lillard, the numbers over his career are incredible. And, and Lillard found his strength as a shooter. And boy, did he exploit it. He's been averaging 20 points per game almost his entire career. And he's kept adding to his game as one of the elite players in our league. Free throw good, Levine. And the deep ball has come alive the last few seasons for Zach Levine. He set a Bulls record for May threes in a season last year. Hey, Greg, Zach Levine continues to work and improve his shot, which has been fantastic. He not only trusts his shot at this point, but feels it's a strength now. He's more willing to look for jumpers and big possessions now. Valentine's checked in for the Bulls. Here's Temple. The pass to Young. Bulls moving the ball around. And that one, good. Hutchinson's got his first points in this one. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Trent can't hit. Chicago's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Now, here's Valentine. Tight defense on him. But they get it back. Goes back up. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. Collins checked in for Carmelo Anthony. For Portland, they've gotten six of their seven shots to go down in this court. What a fantastic start to the half. On the basket by Jones. Twelve straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks Chelsea. It's stolen by Little. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. This break in the game gives us a chance to look at the teams with the most points off turnovers of the last season. Number one, the Bulls. Yeah, I mean, the best in the league at forcing those miscues and, and then capitalizing at the other end. Their defense led to their offense. Good checked in for the Trailblazers. And Chicago also making a switch. Williams is checked in. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Here's Sonoransky. Sinks that one from the post. Sonoransky's got his second basket of the night. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. Good for three. Rebound by the Bulls. Here's Temple. That three off the mark. Here's Trent. Trains the three-pointer. Trent's got ten points in the game. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes? The defense is just giving up a barrage. To the paint. Good comes in with the double team. A three. Here's Sonoransky. Temple. The shot's good on the assist by Sonoransky. Sonoransky's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Three-pointer. Trailblazers keep it alive. Here's Collins. Just couldn't take the lid off. They had their chances, but came up empty. Inside, the kick out to Williams. How good on the three. It's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that. Collins with it, and Young picks him up defensively. The shot, no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. You just can't afford to leave open shooters in this league. Everyone is practicing the three. Here's Trent. Portland, no good that time either. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. And that one is good. Sadoransky's got seven points for the quarter. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. 
Just two seconds between shot clock and game. Next down the three ball. And they have been relentless from deep. And, and you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. And here's Collins from outside. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. Just look at what a sniper he is from long range. He's got such an unusual skill for a big And so is Portland rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up in quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We come back right after this. right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. As we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Stolen by Cantor. We've got C.J. McCollum. A little out there with Giles. Then it's Rodney Hood. And it's Cantor in at the five. That's the group on the floor for Portland. And so Sadoransky will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. That'll be game two of four straight on the road. And for the Trailblazers, they're shooting indicative of smooth offensive play up at 60%. They're a machine from the floor. Off the turnover, not just a good on-ball defender. Porter will also gamble and pick up steals for you. Hood for three. Traps in the tray. Having a lot of trouble stopping at the three-point shot. Well, the Bulls shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. Pass to Cornett on the wing. Porter trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. For Portland, they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Little can hit. The Bulls have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter. Oh, that was something else. That was nasty. This is what Zach Levine is built to do. He can get you points in bunches, and sometimes he can go all night. And the basket by McCullough. Back-to-back -back threes, the D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Passes it to Levine. Jacks up a three. Good on the triple. A tail of two halves. He's really turned it around here, scoring the ball. Portland's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. And here's McCollum for three. And the Trailblazers, another three. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Yusuf Norkic, he's checked in for Ennis Cantor. Robert Covington comes in for Giles. Anthony's checked in for Little. And Lillard subbed in for Rodney Hood. Chicago also making some changes. Carter, he's checked in for Luke Cornett. Arkanen comes in for Daniel Gafford. And it's wide in for Sadoransky. Deep two from Anthony. Again for two. And Anthony, really one of the most confident jump shooters. An elite level scorer who gets plenty of opportunities. White the pass to Levine. And a miss there on the triple. Portland's gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. Lillard from outside. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. Dominating when it matters most. Give him the ball and get out of the way. And Lillard is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And Portland making a change here. Jones has checked in. Valentine's checked in for the Bulls. Here's Levine. And we've seen more attention given to how fans, Greg, interact with players during the game, whether it's verbal or 
or even physical. Is that something the league's got to keep an eye on? Absolutely. It's all about making sure that everyone is protected and respected. You know, this is entertainment, right? This is not do or die from a life standpoint, and we don't want to have things escalate. There's got to be some kind of barrier there. I agree. Chandler Hutchison, he's checked in for Zach Levine. You know, it took Nurkic a while to kind of establish himself as a starting center in the NBA, but it didn't take long to see it's a role he deserves. And he's able to get it back. Here's Lillard. The Blazers on offense. They're on a 17-7 run. From downtown, it's the three-point bomb. Lillard's got 57 points. And every time you think he can't hit another, it's White on the wing. There's the three. And the rebound by Nurkic. Nurkic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. That's a two from Lillard. They grab their own miss. Nurkic can't hit. The Bulls have gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Knocked loose. Markkinen kicks to Valentine. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. First one falls for him. Well, you hear about the extinction of great NBA big men. Do you see it that way? And if so, Greg, is the game that has changed or perhaps a dip in the talent at that position that has changed? You know, you think back to the likes of Russell, Will, Kareem, and Hakeem, and Robinson, and Shaq. Someone said, well, we just got lucky. But in a lot of ways, we still have the dominance of the big man. They just play more outside of the paint, right? You know, Giannis, yep, you look at what he can do. Anthony Davis and the way he plays the game. I mean, LeBron, in essence, is a big man. I mean, you still can dominate the game as a big, it's just that you now can actually, in some respects, have more impact because you are involved in more facets of the game. Here's Simons. Offline with his three. Chicago's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big-time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Trailblazers. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, you know, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them four on the season. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Lillard. He was doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot hand. It's good. Look at Kobe White attack and adjust it to contact. Beautiful play. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. Hood for three. The long distance three is built. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. And so Hood will bring it up for Portland. Well, this one is winding down now. Portland can watch the clock run out. And the Trailblazers, another three. Taking no chances. They go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, winning flawlessly. Yeah, they're just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. 
And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Damian, it looks like this team's progress can be measured by your improvement at the defensive end. Do we see that tonight? Um, we, we made some mistakes, like every other basketball team does, but I think we did a great job of making adjustments. You know, we got a little more physical. Um, you know, we did a great job of that. And that led to a big win, Damian. Thanks for your time, man. Kevin? All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Alden. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.